that die are dying because of their spouse, their boyfriend or their husband. I think two a week die in domestic violence. Okay? Islam does not say, tell her to just keep praying to God and he'll stop one day. Yeah, because you're not faithful, because you're not spiritual. Islam it's, says... Islam is nothing about Islam, spirituality. Islam recognizes... Hold on a second. That's what I'm saying. Let's deal with the issue. So you have no answer no, no. from God and no, no. You, let's God deal, doesn't let's do anything. Let's deal with this the issue. Thing. Let's deal this with the issue. Thing. Sorry. So the issue is that the practicality of how human beings are, you have to have rules that suit the reality, not how you or I might perceive the reality to be. Oh, if she keeps praying, so, so you, then it will be so you okay. Saying what Jesus said there, it was wrong. I, I don't so know. If, did Jesus say okay. other exception? Did except you know sexual immorality, my, which unfaithful, which is unfaithful. My, my initial point to so you. What should I should I do now? Should I listen to what you say or what he says or, or what Jesus says? What God says. You should what listen is, to what, what God does, says. What does God say? What does Jesus say? Right. Because Jesus is now, speaking, speaking from the, God. The and issue, God is speaking to the Jesus issue here is, yes? and this is where our discussion started. Yes. When you tell me Jesus said this, yes. or Jesus said that, yes. my initial question to you was that the difficulty that you have, and I mean it with respect, okay. not with disrespect, uh, the difficulty my brothers, my Christian brothers, my, my Christian sisters, they have, yes. is that they do not know whether Jesus actually said that or did not say that. Oh, because of the Bible is corrupt. Yes? Absolutely. <laughs> but this is a, this is a this is a matter of well, fact. Well, you see, this we, is not an opinion. No, yeah, okay, okay. This is a matter okay, of fact, okay, brother. Okay. It was nice talking so, to you. Anyway, no, because you know, you see, this is a problem. Yes. You believe that the entire I didn't say that New Testament of I the Bible. I didn't, I didn't say that. Let's say the New Testament. No, 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 no. no. So you, you cannot trust anything that is written. I didn't in say that test. either. I didn't say that well, either. You, this is why I'm saying. You, Why you don't you ask me? No, 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 no. Don't tell no, me. No, ask no, me. No, this is, I draw a conclusion, my friend. No, but ask me. This is do, do I believe that? This I don't. This is my conclusion. I don't believe that. Because of my beliefs in Jesus Christ and in, is in his sayings, yes. Yes, yes, you are saying that I'm wrong. No, but Joe, your point that I believe that the whole of the this Bible is, is corrupt this is, what I'm saying. No, I is give not what I believe. I give you an example with the marriage. I, I know this woman. No, but yes? Joe, please. No, let's, no, no, let me explain let's stick to one to point. We, no, one yes, point. exactly. This is No, but your let point, me, but, 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 please, Joe. Yes, no. Let me explain it. I know this woman, yes? Now, she was faithful to her husband. Her husband beat her up. And she, she's been through a lot. She was a Christian, a true Christian. Do you know what happened in the end? God took away the man killed the man. Do you understand this? He was not supposed to drink or something. He did that and he died. Okay? So, God has his solutions, my friend. I don't have my solution, but the Holy Spirit does. And he comes and tells me, look, go and do that. This is my, if you listen, fine. If you know, you're going to go wrong. Yes? So this is what I'm doing. I follow the Holy but, Spirit. But see, Jesus says, you know, I'm going to my Father. I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm going to send the comfort, the Holy Spirit. He's going to tell you what to do and what to say. Okay? So this is what I'm doing, man. If I'm doing wrong, it means that I'm led wrong, you know? This is this is it. So it's like, okay, I'm following the Holy Spirit. This is what I'm doing. All, That's why I'm here. All, all I'm saying to you, Joe, is that, you know, it, when we have these sort of discussions, that's why I'm saying well, God when, has when we have when we have this sort of this when we have this sort of his solution God's solution are better than the human solution absolutely okay. I totally agree. so I, I have to stay faithful in God and believing that God is gonna have to come out with a solution so do you think my wife is the most wonderful and I had so many problems man I could have divorced her like I don't know how many times do you know what okay, I'm saying about my wife man honestly I stayed faithful and I say, oh, well, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna give up, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna stay faithful, I'm gonna love her, no matter what. And this is it, man. I'm gonna stay with her. No, Jesus but, said, man, stay uh, till, but, till death do us part. This is the thing, you know, till death do us part. So you, I, I say that and God is solving problems. It's almost done, man, almost done. She's faithful, she's be loving me more. She's like, you know, the sex thing, everything is fine. Perfectly. I'm you know what I mean? You. you see, this is it. So he has his own solution. They're better than my solution. The human solution. And this is what I'm trusting. But that's, that was my point to you, Joe, that you see, when we look for solutions, you're talking about God's solutions, right? And to follow God's solutions, you need God's guidance. 
And if that guidance has been manipulated, corrupted and changed, like Brother Mansur just showed you, the question that you need to ask yourself is, what I am following, is it completely correct? Or are there things within there that are problematic that I perhaps need to look at? Why, for example, did God not explicitly preserve this scripture if it was meant to be for all time? It's a very philosophical, very important question. Let's say, Very important let's question. Say, let's say he did not preserve like, you know, it was not preserved like uh, 100%, yes? But it was preserved, let's say, uh, 98%, okay? So, what you saying? Because of the 2%, it was not preserved. I should not trust in it. Well, first you're This being, is why you're saying. Well, well no, first of all, your, your, sorry, esti your yeah. estimate is very wrong, saying no, 2%. No, I'm saying that. No, because no, you no, just, no, you're listen, making, listen. But, no, but you're making a straw man because listen, you're saying no, no, 2% no, no, when it's not no, 2%. It's probably less than 2%. Well, but then, you the, know, look, the reality here is this. First of all and foremostly, even if it was 2%, you don't know whether it's the 2% that actually is the most important part of governing the doctrine of, 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 huh. Christ, of Christianity. Well, that's a presumption, you know, that so, you make, you know, there's something I'm, that you I'm make. I'm saying you don't if, know. You know, let's say if the, the wheel is spinning, my friend, if the wheel is spinning, should I do more work or making it not spinning? Do you understand what I'm saying? The wheel is spinning, yes? I finished the work because it's spinning. Do you understand? Yeah. What should I do now? Should I do something wrong? Not to make it spinning because you know you sometimes work and you know it's working fine but you have to do something oh it's not working as i want it to work i have to you know and in the end you find out that you actually didn't make what, it work what, what, better what, what, actually you what, make it what, worse what we work, actually say what worse. we actually say is this to the our christian brothers and sisters we're not saying throw away everything you have because much of what you have is very good your Thank devotion you. love for jesus uh, respect for Jesus, showing kindness, charity. We totally love these qualities. We adhere to these qualities. These qualities are the qualities of what we say are taught to us by Prophet Muhammad, by all of the prophets, you know, peace be upon them. But when things change, you have to make some alterations. Just like if you put a bit of weight on, well, you got, you got a suit, you have to fine, change yeah. a few things. What, what, what should I change now, since everything is working fine through the Holy Spirit, I'm doing exactly as I Be, should Because do. as human beings, what we should always do is we should always self-reflect and question and make sure that what we are doing is the will of but God. This is the thing, man. This Very is the important. Thing. I'm working with the Holy Spirit. It's a spirit, my friend. You're working with human beings, with human logics, with nothing really that is from God. I have the connection from God. Yes, I have that 100% connection from God, which you don't have. So what should I do now? Should I lose that connection and follow a man? Follow the reasons of a man, the judgments of a man? Should I lose that what just should, to follow something what else? What you should do, what you should do, okay, you tell me what you, is you that do. Allah has given you, God has given you a mind yes. to reason to reason, yes, exactly. to investigate, yes, investigate. to uh, scrutinize, yes. and to make sure. Yes. That's all I'm saying that you so should do. So that's what I did. Well, um, this is know, what I did. Well, good yeah. luck to you. So, so I this mean, is good, what I did, good, and you know, that's why I ended up where I am at yeah. the moment. Well, good luck Otherwise, to you. I would not. Do you think that the Holy Spirit comes to you just like that? Well, I, I, I really don't understand no, this man. concept of the you Holy Spirit. You don't understand this difficult, trust God. me. I don't know how many people, you know, how many Christians, they speak about the Holy Spirit. They did not experience many, many, many of them. Lots of them. Anyway, I'm not saying because it was I, I don't know. It a pleasure them. to meet you, yeah? Take care, man. Right, you have a it lovely, nice lovely evening, yeah? Right Anis? Um, so, as you can see, we had a brother a discussion with Joe there. Who, he's a Christian. Um, my question really to Joe was a very simple one. And I hope it was respectful. And if it wasn't, then I, I apologize. Which is that... Allah has given us, God has given us reason, a capacity to evaluate, to calculate, not just to find a nice car or a nice TV or get a good job or become educated and have these lovely certificates hanging on the wall. Allah gave us this capacity to reason, to, to, to investigate, to find out about God, about Allah and to be able to decipher the truth from the untruth the preserved from the unpreserved, from the corrupted. And so I urge my brothers and sisters in Christianity, 
And this is not something that I say as a case of um, trying to uh, humiliate or upset uh, or, or you know belittle somebody in their religion. I invite the Christian brothers and sisters to just ponder on this fact that if God truly had intended uh, the religion of Christianity, the Bible, to be preserved for all eternity, for uh, till the day of judgment, then clearly God ha would have preserved that scripture. Now it's widely accepted within academia, even within the Christian academics, that we do not have the original words of Jesus. And so, as a consequence, it's very, very difficult, I believe, for Christians to categorically say that this is what Jesus said, or this is what God said, and this is what we must do. And again, I think there's a lot of historical evidence. So you have the Council of Nicaea, you have so many other councils that actually brought scriptures together and decided what parts would be accepted and not accepted. Now, this is clearly something that man had to decipher, right? And so where there is this lack of preservation, the question that needs to be asked, that since God sends, sends scripture uh, subsequent to scripture that was sent that has been changed, or prophets one after the other to correct that which was uh, wronged before, then the question that my brothers and sisters in Christianity need to ask is that this prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that was sent, was this indeed the last messenger? with the last revelation, which we can now categorically prove was preserved as it was revealed. And that's what I would like to finish on to my brothers and sisters in Christianity. Uh, may Allah give us all peace and unity. It's not about having ill feeling and having harsh discussions with one another. You know, you're fully entitled to your view as I am entitled to mine.